Hello and welcome to setting up a Linux virtualization in a Windows operating system part 3. At this point VirtualBox should be successfully installed and you should also have a copy of your operating system on hand. Okay, start up VirtualBox and uh, for this tutorial I've been using everything on demo. Um, you'll probably uh, just have one uh, uh, thing named here, uh, whatever you named it, that's fine. Um, so for me we're going to select demo and we are going to say start. Now this is the first time that um, I've run this. There is no operating system uh, at the moment on this. Um, so what happens is uh, you get the first time run wizard uh, and this will allow me to install the operating system. So uh, at this point just follow the uh, screen uh, instructions. So I'm going to place in uh, my operating system uh, which is a CD-ROM into the CD-ROM and once that is uh, on, I'm going to say next. Uh, that's fine. And now this is going to start. So this is right now reading everything off of my CD-ROM. At this point, uh, if you wanted to try it, you could try it, but uh, there's no point. We're actually going to install it. Keep in mind, this may take some time. Uh, this is reading everything off of a CD-ROM, and uh, as I've said uh, in a couple of my other videos, uh, reading from the CD-ROM takes time. Okay, and then uh, at some point, uh, the CD should lead you to this. Uh, this is actually just installing the operating system uh, in our virtual box. So, uh, you know, read the welcome if you want, uh, and then you're going to click forward. And, uh, you know, select your uh, time zone. I'll select your keyboard layout. Now this will launch the partitioner. Um, I pretty much uh, just leave uh, the, uh, the default um, because there's no point in partitioning or anything like that because this is going to install everything on our virtual box. So uh, I just move on forward. Okay, and then uh, here we just need to fill out some information. Uh, so my name is going to be demo. Uh, what name do you want to use to log in? It's going to be demo. That's fine. Uh, the password demo uh, 101. Uh, don't worry, I will be deleting this uh, as soon as I am done with this project. <clears throat> and uh, this is all fine. I require a password to log in. I strongly recommend you doing that. I know this is a virtual box, but even so, uh, you might as well do that. Um, this is, says it's a weak password. Yeah, whatever. Okay, and then at this point, uh, this is the final uh, information. Um, everything is fine. It's going to uh, just install. And at this point, uh, we just wait probably 15, 20 minutes, depending on your system, uh, for the Ubuntu uh, operating system to install fully. Okay, at this point, uh, your installation should pretty much be uh, finished up. And uh, the uh, Restart Now button uh, will pop up. And just click that. Okay, at this point it says, please remove the disk. So I'm just going to take out the disk. Okay, once you're all done installing the operating system, uh, you can come back to VirtualBox. And this time when you hit Start, uh, it'll launch your newly created operating system. So eventually you'll get into the log screen. Uh, this is the name that uh, you created on that one uh, screen way back when. Uh, so mine was demo, demo uh, 101. Okay, and this is the home screen of uh, the Ubuntu operating system. Uh, now the thing is, um, is the white area on my left kind of surrounding uh, the box. Um, right now my uh, mouse will not escape that. Um, now I can. Uh, down here, uh, it's hard to see, but it says right control. Um, this uh, right now uh, jumps between uh, uh, the two uh, operating systems. Uh, the guest, which is Ubuntu, and the host, which is Windows. So um, the only way you can go in between those right now is by hitting uh, the right control. 
Um, with any luck, we are going to tweak that so uh, we don't have to do that. Okay, you've probably noticed that your screen is teeny weeny. So um, <clears throat> if you go up to System, uh, Preferences, Display, um, if we go here to select our resolution, uh, in theory, you would be able to select um, the size of your screen. However, you will probably see that there is not an option to do that. And uh, this took me a good uh, three, four hours to figure out. So uh, I will share this with you to make your life much easier. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your, um, you're going to hit right control and you're going to go to your uh, uh, host operating. And then uh, you're going to go up to devices and install guest add-ons. And once you do that, uh, you'll notice that this little CD will uh, automatically mount. And what we're going to do is we're going to open that up and you're just going to hit the auto run.sh. This is a script. You're just going to run it in the terminal. It'll ask for your password. That's fine. It's supposed to do that. And uh, now you'll see the script run and uh, it'll install some add-ons. Um, this will add a whole bunch of good stuff. Um, this will allow us to change our resolution. Uh, this will allow uh, USB support. Um, and this will also allow uh, for, um, it's, I think it's called session mode or something like that. Um, but basically now we can just hover between our guest operating system and our host operating system uh, instead of hitting the right control. So once this is complete, uh, you'll see that um, if you read this, it says you must restart your guest system in order to complete the installation. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that um, on the screencast. Um, so what we need to do is we just need to uh, restart this. And just hit restart. Okay, now this automatically started up into full screen mode. Uh, if yours still did not uh, do full screen mode, uh, you can go up to uh, System, uh, Preference, uh, you can go to Display. And actually, this didn't set the right resolution. Um, but now you can see I have a whole bunch uh, more options. So you can just apply the one that uh, fits for you. Um, you'll also notice down here, uh, this um, has something called uh, session mode, uh, which allows me to, uh, if I just minimize this, oh, let me just minimize this. Um, now I can jump between my uh, uh, guest operating system and host operating system uh, with ease. Instead of holding down control, uh, I can just scroll through, um, and I'm jumping between the different uh, operating systems. So that's kind of a very nice feature. Um, also, if you hold down Control F, um, you go into full screen mode, uh, which is uh, also uh, wonderful. Well, that's it for part three of this tutorial. Uh, be sure to check out part four of my tutorial, uh, where I show you a couple more little tricks. Uh, one of them is showing you how to set up uh, a shared folder uh, between your guest operating system and your host operating system, uh, so you have easy access to your files.